Okay, this video is going to be about reducing colors in Stitch Artist. This tutorial is from Embroidery Central. Okay, this design is a simple applique, and you can see in the corner, the right bottom right hand corner, that has 22 color stops. And it doesn't look like it needs to be quite that difficult. So let's simplify it. Okay, our first object here is an outline, um, a zigzag outline, and it's an applique. The applique itself in the property has two colors, and that's fine. Then we have a diamond, and each of these diamonds is its own object, and each of them has two colors. So you can see we're flipping back and forth between two colors. A quicker way to do it would be for to make the software go first and do all of the, the tack downs, and then later come back and do all the borders. So we like to do the marks and the tack downs in one color, and then the borders in a second color, and we would have a two color design. So how do we do that? Well, I first thought of the utility, perhaps you did too, where you can use color sort. Mm. But here each of these is an applique, and you only see the color down in, in the properties area. Because this is applique, the color sort doesn't is not the tool that we want to use. Oops. So instead, what mm. we'll do is go to the applique properties and we need to click the stitch artist button to get our properties and here we go to applique and rather than have a border let's change the border to none so we just go ahead and do that for each of our designs and what this does is set all of the appliques here to just do the um, marking and the tack down so that it marks where you're going to put the fabric and then it um, sews another simple run stitch to hold that fabric down. Now that we have this done, let's make a copy. And then we'll just paste the whole thing Now we have a copy of the diamond design, including all of the appliques. And now on the applique, what we're going to do here, instead of leaving them as appliques, we're going to actually change each of these items to a satin border. Now you can see I have a couple of different colors in my appliques, in my satin border here, and we can change that. Some of our satin borders are different colors than others, so let's just go to the top of our borders and change the color. Let's make it one color and pick a color, and I'm going to pick apricot here. Okay, so now this design has just one color. No, we need to do the same thing on this one. This has two colors, so let's change it one color and we'll pick shrimp on this one. And now our whole design has just two colors. We have shrimp on the top and apricot on the bottom. 